Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Place Transport Fever. We are taking off from the previous episode exactly where we left off because I pressed the pause button there. And as you can see, we are starting off with a problem. In the previous episode, we have built our passenger line to Oakham. However, our cargo line isn't, I mean, it's performing and it's performing beautifully. But if you look at here, we have a bunch of ships that are waiting to deliver all the wonderful stuff that we have been doing so far and if you look here we have also a bunch load of transportation stuff waiting to happen so what we need is either more trains or we need actually to up our ante a little bit and that's what exactly what I've been thinking to do so I'll just wait until this guy clears the track and then I'll see if I can upgrade 320 meters, just clear the track please. And, and then I'll be pausing and I'll be upgrading this station to 320. I would say something yeah, as the moment when they two, these two trains cross each other, I'm gonna pause. Good. Cool. Uh, terrain alignment collision. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't care. Um, what we need now to do is uh, we need to delete a metric crap ton of track so that the, our sensitive uh, terrain alignment collision guys don't get, you know, super stressed and start thinking what the hell is going on and why his life became all of a sudden so difficult. So we will be upgrading and we'll be upgrading you to 320. Uh, do I need more stuff while, when I'm already upgrading to have like number of tracks for terrain alignment collision? You know what? You, Mr. Street Depot, you can go wherever the hell you want, so we can actually have no problems on removing you here. And yes, we will be upgrading you to the full length and four tracks. Because I do expect, or five, five, no, four tracks. How do I connect these? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come up with something. So maybe five tracks, six. Yeah, six tracks looks kind of nice because then I can connect these two here and then we can basically branch off more and more for the other tracks. And it could be fair because we could have multiple types of goods going back and forth. I have a feeling something like that. What is now? Yeah, vehicles report having problems. I understand. I don't care. Upgrade. Yes. Apply, please. Good. What we need to also do is we need to borrow some cash for the time being. I mean, probably less. However, let's now see how do we tackle this. I would almost like you see to connect this to the middle and then branch off in both directions. That would be like my preferred choice. So why zero? What's your problem? Oh right, right, because I'm an idiot. Because I'm an idiot and I'm using the ballast instead of the real tracks. Yeah. Go figure. Okay, now we have two of you coming here. Good. Then uh, let's see. Can I connect you straight here? I can. And I could connect, I would want to connect you straight here somehow, if at all possible. Oh, I had it, I had it. No, not with the terrain alignment collision, without it, please, if I can at any point, please. Come on, I had it just now. Yeah, something like this. Wonderful. So that's two. Good. 
and then we need to be taking on the third one. Um, not in that fashion, laddie. So let's see if we can take you somewhere along here. Construction null possible, null segment, why? Can't you just, you know, yeah, something like that. Join up here, exactly, and then continue and be all nice and sweet. Hmm, why would I want to do that? If I could maybe peel you off earlier. Yeah, I'll uh, take care of that once when these two move, but you're no longer reporting problems, which I think is important. So what I need to actually be placing here, sooner rather than later, are some diamond crossings. Yay, because everybody loves a good diamond crossing, don't you? So, one, and let's see, two, that's good, that is one down. One more to go, something like that, you go here, you go here, that's two, great. And then the third one I'll be taking a bit longer, so let's put it like this. Now I want to make sure vehicles drive on the right, so we put like this here. I know it's superfluous, but... I just don't care. I just want to make absolutely 100% sure that the vehicles will be driving on the right here. So, just before merging, you here and you will be. I would take it here. Great. And then we have two more tracks to take care of. You know, we don't even need them for the time being, so I would almost cautiously say, you know, just continue rolling with it. Why are you returning? You go back. You have a free path. Wherever the hell you want to go. You are going to be rarely transfer and you don't have any grain. Why don't you have any grain? I don't get it. Do you have some goods? Yeah, I have some food, okay. What about you? Coming train? Waiting for a free path. What free path? I mean, what the hell has happened here? You have a free path. Why would all the trains all of a sudden want to go back? No, Slatty, you go back. You are going the right direction. Okay. I believe that fixes our problem. How about you? You are producing. Line usage, yes. Are you filling up? Yeah, I think upgrading the station did mess up our line. Okay. This will actually escalate the problem here a little bit, but uh, yeah, sadly there's nothing that we can do at this point, obviously, but I can actually then use the opportunity while I have you here. You know what? You're stopping me in my intention. Off you trot. And if I decide to upgrade you, to 320 okay it's not that much I'll pause the game so that the game doesn't feel like that I have betrayed its trust and uh, you know what not you just continue on your merry way yes thank you please bye bye after you have cleared the signal we will upgrade it Okay, I mean, this is an investment for the future, so pause. You, sir, you kill these. 
good. That means you, sir, I'll remove the bulldozer. We upgrade you and we put two tracks, but 320 full length. Yes, great. Then we extend these tracks here as they originally were, nothing out of the ordinary. Yes. And then we create some diamond crossing here where it's nice and flat, you know. I want to make it on the same length, so please do connect where you, wherever you have been. Great. And I'm hoping now the rest lines should pick up. Why did you turn away? You are not supposed to be waiting for a free path. You should continue. Good, so okay, I have to return all the trains. Okay, you also go back. I have to make sure that none of my trains is flipped, otherwise this will lead to decline in profits and some massive ass losses. Okay, you are continuing. Good. Are there any others that I should be thinking about? Yes, you for example. You are not supposed to be going down this route. You go back. Let's check our lines actually. How are they going? Yeah, the lines are set up correctly. Okay, and um, I'd say for the time being they are branching off here. Do I have a problem with that? Well, technically I don't, but I would actually much more like them to be, you know, put one beside the other, so how about that we do it like this, rather? Uh, where is the rail? We put a waypoint here on this track and then we will be telling our Ocumbrierly grain before going to before going here to go actually here yeah so let's hope that that didn't screw up any of our trains it doesn't seem to good and our production is picking up we have stuff waiting over there great so the only th issue that I have here are the ships waiting so tell you what you go back to Meltham you go back to Meltham You are which line? CHS food bulk. Replacement. Please replace at 25% age. I really cannot stand seeing you in such a way. You are going to upper brearly. You are which one? Cockermouth food bulk. And you are Cockermouth food bulk. Okay. Good. That means hopefully you will finally get to upgrade. Let's see vehicles. Yeah, you are the asymmetrical. So yeah, so we have, who do we have? We have Meltham one, one of the Cockermouth, good. And in the queue we have CHS, one more Meltham, and I want one more Cockermouth and you too. Yeah, so okay. We'll have, the rest we have returned, but the, these guys are actually waiting in the queue. I'm hoping this will clear out the confusion and asymmetrical, for the love of God, please do upgrade. Finally, great. That means I can turn off the upgrades for you, replacements. 100%, no. Do I have any other lines running unauthorized upgrades? I don't. Great. That's the way it's supposed to be. Then we can return those that money that we had on loan for the time being. I'm actually very sure we will be borrowing much more. But anyway, now 
We have a lot more. Why the hell did you want to go here? Did I once again miss something? What now? This is kind of interesting. Okay, so food line. It's you. Oakham Brearly Transfer. Bef after Oakham, I want you to go here specifically. Yeah. Something like this. So, did you now understand each other? Yes, we did. Great. So we have another track that is completely not used at the moment, which I think it's fair. And these ships, do you have any food? No. Do you have any food? No. Do you have any food? No. Oh well, now I'll have to wait until the production picks up and I hope it will because I have messed up a metric crap ton of stuff now. So you are going full, sir? Yes, you are. Great. You? Do you have anything on you? 17. Okay, yeah, right. Off you trot. Where's my, where's my grain stuff? I need my grain train. Okay, grain train left. Where's another grain train? You're coming. How many grain trains do I have? Four, four. Okay, fair enough. It will take a little bit until these actually get... Oh, set line, where the hell were you thinking? Go, go my darlings. Now, hopefully with that thing out of the way... Oh, are you full? No, you're not. You're just decided to go anyway. Oh, well, I can't blame you. So, uh, production zero. Raise production to avoid de degrade in five months. Yes, please. I mean, shall we put a little bit on turbos? I think so. We need it. Now we'll see if the production will pick up once again. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be picking up. We have new bee beeps, open wagon and Verbandswagen and okay, great. So I actually have a plan in mind and some of you might think that I'm crazy but the food piles will pick up here. What I plan to do is crazy. Yeah, to best put it that way. I fully intend to actually now add replacement vehicle, which I will set to the very expensive A35. And um, A35 together with, this is the food line, Verband. And that's livestock, food, etc. And I'll add it in the length of at least. So let's put, I don't know, 188. Now maybe 160. Should do it for the time being. How many? What's the capacity on that train? Each vehicle is, well, who cares, to be perfectly honest with you. I ho it, it, This train should have a massing, massive pulling power and it's 10 million per train. So, oh boy, that's a big, big cost to swallow up front. Do I have a better option? I don't really. Can I borrow that much actually? Borrow. How much can I borrow? What's my upper limit? 30. 
So in total I could have three trains like that. Um, how about we put something more reasonable, like 7 million per vehicle, yes. And then if it picks up, yeah, I think it's better to do it that way. Okay, yes. So, 25% replace. Good. And you will do exactly the same. Replacement, yes. 25% set vehicle, A35, add. And with the open wagon, we'll also put 150-ish length. 159. That's pretty much the same thing. Great. So, yes and yes on 25%. Good. Now we'll see the vehicles. And I'm do hoping that, for example, at least two of them get replaced. One of this and one of that. And then it's seven, maybe, yeah, we'll see. For the time being, I'm gonna do a bad thing of running with uh, mixed trains, but I don't have many options, guys, so yeah. I'm pretty sure this should pick up. So this is a good strain. Okay, I'm um, temporarily put no on this replacement here. Just because I want to have one of these vehicles replaced as well. So I'll try to introduce it like a controlled replacement as much as possible. Okay, come on, talk to me. I need a vehicle, old vehicle getting replaced. Okay, let's see the production here. Oh yes, the production is picking up wonderfully. Great. That is keeping me much encouraged. Come on, I need an older train replaced. Do I have replacement set? Yes, I have. So come on, one old train. That's all I need at the moment. Yeah, and as you can see, this is actually quite quickly picking up. So that's a good thing. How old are you, sir? 11 years. So you should qualify for a replacement, hopefully. Let's see if you do. Hell yeah! Okay, replacement, good. No. 
Now I have my big train as well coming in. Great. Clearing out the stores. Wonderful. This is already looking better by the minute. So that's the grain train and then is my food line. So I'll authorize another replacement of you. Because remember, every time that this guy actually lands, it will be giving us a metric crap ton of cash. So that's definitely not something to be sniffing at. And it's it will be pumping up the production on Oakham as well. Hopefully, Oakham Farm, see? High production to upgrade in four months, yeah. So I do want these vehicles to get replaced. The be well, the sooner the better. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna give you both on yes for the time being. And then we'll control how it looks. I'm gonna put it somewhere where it doesn't bother me too much. And do I need more signals for even spacing? Yeah, I think so. I would like to add here a bunch of signals. So not waypoints, but signals. Something along these lines. Okay. Let's see if we manage to get another to upgrade. Would you qualify? Come on, make my day. Nope, you're not qualifying yet. Okay, but I'm thinking that despite the huge investments, my line should be paying off. Okay, second one qualified, awesome. And now I want to hold the replacements here. I want another grain train to basically upgrade. Because that should make my life a whole lot easier in terms of delivery. As you can see, the cow traffic is picking up. So despite the high running cost, I'm expecting profits to rise massively. Oh, and this is a good strain, so... You know what? We might do actually a ride along on this sucker. 112 capacity. Boy, oh boy. Now that is a thing of beauty. I'll just keep eye on my finances and yeah oh look at this isn't this majestic look at it now that is a proper train ladies and gentlemen that is indeed a proper train so Speaking of the famous, well, not famous, but A35. A35 steam locomotive. Let's see if I can dig up something, at least from the wiki. From the wiki. So, let's see, 35. We have Swiss class locomotives uh, and I'm gonna read about that because the developers are obviously Swiss so yeah let's talk about it the Swiss class A35 locomotives were built between 1902 and 1922 for the Eura Simpson Simplon railway and the Goddard railway these railways were absorbed into the Swiss Federal Railways in 1903 uh, in total 111 460 Locomotives of this, type, of this type were built by Schweizerische, Schweizerische Lokomotive und Maschinenfabrik in Winterthur, Switzerland. 
one, only one locomotive of this type has been preserved. Its number is 705 and it was built in 1904. So, a little bit info, sorry if it's a little bit v v vague. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my English these days, sorry. But, um, yeah. Oh, look at this. This is some quality screenshot material. And we are passing the old trains and I mean, as you can see, these trains are able to ferry quite a significant speed, which is great, but it seems that it has been slowing down by something else. And we have our old trusty Prussians still delivering, you know, the passengers, which is also great. But at the moment, this one is actually bringing us more cash, so I think it only merits that we put money where our mouth is. So, onwards and upwards. I really feel that nowadays once we actually, you know, upgrade all of these locomotives that they would really be bringing in a metric crap ton of cash because if you think about it, we started small, but expansion is so high and so vast that I don't think that the small locomotives will be able to actually keep up with it. So at the point when we get enough money that I can actually do it, I will most likely be just replacing the old locomotives, plain and simple. And there's another big one, A35 with a grain train. Look at that. It really feels like a big cargo train, and that's something that I really, really enjoy. A35 truly is a star. Look at it. Amazing. And once again being held up by the administration. Oh, some heads will roll at the management level, definitely. Why is that happening? Let's see. Okay, you know, I like ride-alongs as much as the next guy, but... Okay, you have been halted, and you have been halted. Why? Is there anything else happening in front? No, it's not. But what is happening is a massive spike in terms of... Yeah, in terms of ships coming in or coming back. So, let's see. CHS Food Bulk. How is the production here? 318 so it's picking up beautifully actually mm -hmm. which tells me I will actually need more ships let's see if we have any that are empty that are going back you are empty great what about you you are going down you're going to melt him no flip go back please go back to upper Brearley and you are also going to Upper Brearley. Good. What about the two of you? Food 3, you are at going towards Meltem Holt. And you are going to Meltem Holt. No, don't be going to Meltem Holt. You go back to Upper Brearley. And you have some food, so you do go to Meltem Holt. Okay, great. So some food was delivered and our trucks are, it seems, picking up. So let's see, food, Meltham food delivery, how many vehicles we have? We have a total of three vehicles. I don't know if that's gonna be cutting it. We might actually need more. Can't that. We take one, two, and we will set you on the Meltem food delivery. Yeah. So you should be starting supplying Meltem with some real food soon enough, which is great. Oh, we have three million, so oh, I should actually repay some of it, hopefully. Our passenger situation seems to be in check and now we will be having more troubles downstream. So I actually might 
invest in a couple of more ships even. Hmm. Oh, three million more. Okay. Well, tell you what. Uh, how is my shipping doing? Let's see. Water only. On the CHS we have four ships. On the Cockermouth we have three. And on Maltham we have five. I'd actually want to up that frequency a bit. So let's buy two more Klondikes. And I will be setting you, Sonny, on the Cockermouth food bulk. Uh, and we will be calling you G GVS Groundworks Ship. Uh, who do I have from my subscribers recently? Oh well, we'll call you Groundworks Ship One for the time being because I don't have yet anybody in mind so I'll have to check and then you you be the ship too which will be going to Meltham. I have to make, to make a note to myself to actually do rename them. You're going where? You're going to Cockermouth Transfer? No you're not. You're going to Upper Brearley Sunny. And you are which one? You are also the Cockermouth. Okay good. And you, Sonny, are going to Upper Brearley, and you, Meltham, are not going to Meltham Hall, but you will be going to Upper Brearley as well. Great. How are you two guys dealing with the surplus of food? Keep production high for upgrade in four months. Now that's what I like to see. You see? This is ultimately a problem that we want to have, so yes. I think it, overall the spacing and all of that will be fine, so we just need to for these services to actually, you know, pick up now. The lockup was very real though. And to be honest, guys, I'm thinking that these old trains here are just slowing us down in terms of delivery. So I'm even thinking of retiring some. You're the old one, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking I'll actually retire two trains at least. So that they are not stopping my faster trains and... Uh, Currently, I don't know if I would have the cash to replace another train, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so road... not road, but... Oh, and we have vehicles here, bands. So let's just see, hold on. Railroad visible only. Yeah, you are making us... and you ha we have two trains here and two old ones. So what would happen if I retire the old ones? Would that mess up these? I don't think so. So what I'll do guys, this might come and bite me up back in the ass, I don't know. But you see these trains are actually halting everything from moving at the... So you Sonny will be going to depot unable to find path to the depot. How come? Hmm. Right. Because we don't have a depot in that direction. Do we have a depot somewhere over here? No, we don't. I should really have additional depot. Well, since you're carrying stuff, you will be halted, but you, Sunny, are definitely going for a depot, and I will be making sure that you come to the depot. 
because you are slowing my other f d d deliveries and I take that as a very very serious offense so let's just repay a little bit more we already have enough cash for at least one more train and that's what I'm thinking I'll uh, probably retire one and replace the other and that should basically help us keep at a healthy pace so I'm gonna turn off the replacements here as well so this I mean food uh, is lots of tweaking and stuff but I guess it makes sense in the long run so yeah hold on where are my road vehicles Lower, lower Oakham, we don't see them at the moment, that's kind of strange. So I'll just flip you back and then I'll send you back to the depot. See, you were blocking the other guy actually. So, great. Oakham Depot. That's one grain train retired, I have to remember that. Yeah. Sell. Buy. Great. Oh, there's my gang. Great. So you have delivered food and now you're going up for the Oakham. Awesome. So that's one grain train delivered. You're not stopping uh, my other trains, the bigger ones, I hope not. No, you're not. But you might be, so... How about I just pause the game and I build another depot here if for no other reason to get rid of you, Sonny. Like additional track here that veers off very slightly into the mountain not my idea trust me but okay and then we take a depot and we stick it at the end of this one terrain alignment collision which terrain are you colliding with Sunny? okay let's see if we can extend you further along I don't want to the train my trains to become mountain goats or something but yeah okay good that means you, Sonny, you have 24 food. I haven't thought about that. But are you blocking anybody else? And you are what? You are grain. You know what? You go to the depot. And we pause. Yeah, you see? You are blocking him, actually. And that's not a nice thing. So you'll be sold here. I think my deliveries will become much more effective once I actually deal with this too. Old trains. Yeah. You are... Tell me that you are old enough to be replaced, please. Seven years. Uh, one can only hope. How old are you? Seven years. What's the total lifespan on these? Like 40? So 25% would be 10 years at least. So you're not gonna be replaced anytime soon. Hmm. 
train 15. Yeah, I mean, sorry the passenger lines, you will have to wait until the next episode. But uh, I want to fix these two trains. So train 15 and train 16. I'll be keeping my eyes on you. lot of food getting delivered and this looks like a waterfall road sorry for that one guys it really looks terrible road where's my road depot I'm just gonna be putting it here come on move the vehicle out of the way please yeah here you go You know, you, Sonny, really, you don't need to wait for anything. You just go for the depot, will ya? Because you see, you're blocking my fast train. But the good thing in all the story is that now our ships are living full. See? Oh yes. That's nice. So we will be starting to make cash left and right, that's for sure. Hold on. Where are you, Sonny? Here. Uh, tell you what, you are carrying food. So I'll actually allow you to proceed. while the other one will be continued to happily chug for the depot. So you are going at 50 while these guys is going at 100 and it has the pulling power to do so. Even with a full load. So there's definitely something to ponder about. Some more cash to return. Repay. Wonderful. Okay, we'll come north and you are going for the depot. Okay, so uh, tell you what, let me know when you come arrive at the depot. I'm really not that interested. I'm more interested as in where are you, sir? Okay, so once you get to the depot, you will be sold as well. Are those two the last two trains that I have that are old? Okay, the grain train I am have pulled out of rotation, so I only, I need to add one more grain train actually. So, wait a second, we have a grain train that left, but let's make another grain train. Buy trains, A35, buy, and we said length of 159 for the grain. Open wagon, blah 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 blah, 159. Not enough money. I need to borrow more. Oh boy. So, um, yep. 159. Great. And you, Sonny, are going on the grain line. Great. Okay, that fixes the grain stuff. How is this farm producing? Ooh, it's picking up massively. Wonderful. We're in the money. We're in the money. Despite that we are up to our ass in the loan, but yeah, that's a different story. Now. 
at least I won't have uh, you know slower trains blocking the faster trains this was a really dumb decision to make to be perfectly honest with you guys so are you coming to the Oakham no so okay you sell yourself you're more useful to me sold wonderful I just want to see how is how does it look when this one loads fully all right yeah you can see lots of grain waiting for us to pick them up I mean, we still have, this is like half of the length that this, you know, trains could be. So I'm expecting at some point when we actually get enough of cash, we will be running a full length trains here. Easily, as you can see. But this is now actually more sizable, you know, delivery, so to say. And it's 112 of grain, which will actually net us a pretty sum. How much is the payday on this? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, finally this guy actually starts to pass the line, so time to retire him. The moment you pass the switch, you will be given an honorary kick in the butt to go back to the depot. Sunny, so yes. Did you cross it? Yes, you did. Heading back to the depot. Thank you. And then we will be buying another train, A35, clearly. Once again, maxing out our loan and then buy and then the goods stuff or the track one and then oh no 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 not you you up 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 you basically please just sell yourself so we have here four and we will just continue to buy until we get the length of 159 158. Well, that's pretty much what I'm had in mind. So, you're going on the full line. Schaffhausen. And what is the Schaffhausen supposed to be doing? So, let's once again check this guy. And it's actually going very, very fast, which I find quite enjoyable. Now, let's repay as much as we can. I'm really interested to see, before I close for this episode, how much of the payday will a full load of grain deliver. And it's going actually pretty fast, and it's not even on turbos. 100 kilometers an hour, so they're double as fast as the previous ones. No wonder I was getting clogged, you know. But they are way more expensive, so we have to, you know, weigh them out in terms of pros and cons, same as we do for the passengers. But we could ultimately replace two trains with a single one. And uh, when we will be dealing with the main line, and that's something that I need to obviously think about for the next round. But now this line should be making me a load and load of money. So yeah. Mm. 
Wow, that's some serious need for speed here. And another grain train. Okay, we are entering our track and I'm really eager to see the cash roll in. So come on, show me the money. Ooh, we have a lot of food waiting here. Chick, 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 chick. I didn't see what was that chiching now. Oh boy. Well, doesn't matter. Oh, roughly two million, probably. That's definitely nice. So let's repay the loan as much as we can, obviously. And while this train continues to go back, our ships should be able to, you know, you are full, bye. You are almost full. And you are for Cockermouth, and you are for Cockermouth. So, which is the longest route, actually? This sea chipping Sodbury is actually pretty long-ish. So maybe a ship or two here wouldn't hurt. Yeah, you guys aren't delivering enough stuff to Brearley, clearly. So, can we buy something new? Buy road vehicles, what do we have? Oh, we have Benz! Oh, in that case, how about doing this? Brearley food delivery, replacement, set vehicle, Benz. Okay, and we replace all at 25%, so... Let's see, vehicles getting replaced. This should hopefully start going very, very quickly. I guess you would be probably the first one. You're how old? 17 years, yeah. Let's see that you get replaced with a brand new Benz. No? Why didn't you get replaced? Didn't I put replacement? I didn't put replacement, that's why. Oh well. Never mind. I'm an idiot, apparently. Then will you become the world's best? Yeah, Daimler, but I would like to have Benz instead. Well, Daimler Benz was technically a. Okay, never mind, I'm babbling. Let's see if you get now replaced in a very nice way. Yes, you do. Awesome. And what's your top speed, mister? I'm really interested to know that. So we'll just go to be closing you for the time being. Well, I would say a significant increase in speed. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay guys, with that thing in mind, I'll have to bid you all a farewell, a like if you like the episode. Some things we were done correctly, some things we were messed up a little bit, but Nevertheless, we will be continuing messing up things even in the next, next episode, so like if you like, hit subscribe for more Transport Fever content, and I will be seeing you all in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching while I repay my loan, and bye.